Welcome everybody. This is the wait. Take two. Take two. Welcome everyone. This is the Facebook Pastors. We are speaking to you live from our home. This is my beautiful wife, Gina Guy Warren, Prophet Gina Guy Warren, or Pastor Gina Guy Warren. Some of you guys know her as Gina. <laughs> Pastor Gina. Brian, is it good to see him, you guys? It's good to see. <laughs> yeah. We, we've it. kind of been I doing a few it. things today. It's been busy. We've been juggling a few different hats for sure. Smells Definitely. Good. Yeah. Let me make sure, sure this is, speak for a minute because I got to. Oh, we're just making sure things. everything's clear on, on our end. But um, everything's good? Oh, yeah, okay. Good go. So, welcome to Truth and Love Ministry International, you guys. Um, definitely grab a pen and a paper. We're going to get ready to put something on the screen for you guys behind us. We do have a now word for the church. A now word. Like, Amen. what do we do right now before we enter into 2019? So what I'd like you to do is get a pen and a piece of paper because we're going to put this video on. What's it like? Uh, I think it's like only two minutes or yeah, a couple it's, minutes. it's very short, but it's full of prophetic insight. And I was given a now word by watching this video. Uh, the title of our message today is Lions versus Hyenas. The odds against you are about to change. Calling all allies. Gather your resources. Amen. Okay, so ready? We're going to put the lights down for you. Merry Christmas. All right, Pastor Brian, go put the lights down. Okay, and ready? B, here we go. I want you to take notes here. Got it. All right, ready? Go ahead and get a key right there. Here we go. Tell me when you're ready. Right. All right. As they mature, young males begin to explore the boundaries of the pride's territory. Red has ventured out alone. <laughs> and London straight into the middle of the hyena clan. <laughs>
red is lucky. All right. Oh my goodness, everyone. I hope you really caught the prophetic nature of this video, huh, Pastor Brian? Amen. Yeah, that was awesome. So this that was is why, powerful. That yeah. was super powerful. This yeah. is why I asked you guys to get a pen and a paper. Um, you're, I'm going to really encourage those that watch this video later um, to go back, watch the video again with a notepad, and let the Holy Spirit speak to you because, boy, did we get a message to give the body of Christ with this video. And I was telling Pastor Brian, you know, um, it's, it amazes me um, so many of the messages that are going forth, um, you know, throughout Facebook. You know, we're hearing a lot about politics. We're hearing a lot about, um, you know, the courts of heaven. We're hearing a lot about the revelation of the eagle and the lion. And the, But my question is, how is all of that help? That's all great. And we need, just like John the Revelator wrote the book of Revelation, we need that kind of symbolism and spiritual insight. But how is that working for your families? We, you know, we're here to teach you something that we believe that we receive straight from heaven that is going to help save you uh, before year end so that you can go into 2019 whole and healed and with a game plan. So we don't want to come on here and give you all this fancy prophecy that that's all great, but it has nothing to do with how you're going to survive right now. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to touch on a little bit of on, like I was thinking the whole time, those hyenas are hyenas are surrounding that lion. I'm just thinking they sound like demons. They sound like little. I mean, seriously, but it's such an ir yeah, irritating, all that down, irritating sure. noise and sound. I was just yes. like, so irritated by that sound. So it is irritating. That's why this message is called the lions versus the hyenas. How many of you feel like red in the video right now? Isn't that? I thought that was so cool. The lion's name is Red, and. We're going to talk about the characteristics of a warrior. We are going to talk about uh, the dangers that warriors face. And we are going to talk about a game plan for 2019. Um, and I really, I got all this from this video. And we're going to also talk about the ways of the enemy. So obviously, our Team Unbreakables are symbolic of red is symbolic of our team unbreakables and the hyenas in this video are symbolic of the devil all of his imps and your enemies and so that's why the title of this message is the odds are against you but they're about to change but we're going to be calling all allies to gather your resources so we have to have a game plan to get into 2019 how many of you feel like you're going through hell right now? How many of you feel like red in the video? Hmm. Like how many of you feel that you have been encircled and you've been entrapped and you, you are bruised and broken. You can't see out of your eyeballs cause they're blood red cause you're going through attacks. Um, you know, you, you, how many of you feel that you could be red in that video right now? Outnumbered. Outnumbered. Outmatched. Yep. Odds are against you, and looks like there's no hope. Like they're going to take you out, but help is on the way. Help is on the way, and that's why this this teaching today is wisdom. We are going to at attempt to teach you wisdom on your situation that you're in right now and how to get out of it. I could sit here and prophesy how to go before the courts of heaven, how to take authority, how to cancel out contracts from the enemy. We we can do all of that. Okay. But I really feel that the Holy Spirit has been is calling Truth and Love Ministry in this season to give our Facebook um, church uh, just some sound biblical principles and then how to actually apply those. And what does that have to do with your family right now? And so at about 630, we have only about 45 minutes or so here. We got to prepare our home churches tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of getting a lot done today. And, and so we'll be having the doorbell ring in here in a little bit for people coming over for home church. So if you're in the Franklin, Tennessee area, for sure. Okay. Come on by. Yeah. So let's break this down. You guys ready? Um, we are going to first talk about the characteristics of a warrior. 
the characteristics. And some of you, when you start hearing these characteristics, you're going to say, oh my gosh, that is so me. I am definitely, see, not everybody's a warrior and that's okay. Some people are soldiers. Right. I'm going right? to bring it a little closer Yeah, I think we us. can bring it closer now to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, Let's do that. And then they're really going to see my red eyeballs. Hey, oh, my Lord. It's okay. All right. <laughs> but um, we're going to talk about, first of all, number one, the characteristics of a warrior. All right. Just like red. So if you're just coming on, I see people coming on now. I'm talking about a hyenas versus lions video. You're going to have to go to the beginning of this uh, broadcast to know what I'm comparing this teaching to. So, like red. He's a lion. He's a warrior. Right. And this is what the beginning of the video said. When they are mature, they begin, they begin to explore their pride, their, ba their boundaries. Okay. So the number one characteristics of a warrior, let me tell you, you are not in sin, but warriors definitely color outside the lines and warriors are not really good with boundaries. Now, I'm not talking about spiritual authority. I'm not talking about that. We like to go where no man has gone before. We like to go outside of the boundary lines. We'd like to color outside the lines. So if you are a warrior, especially the men, listen to me. This is going to be such an incredible message for the men. I, I've really felt like we were supposed to say calling all men right now. Right. And that's uh, what we're, we're praying. A lot of the men are coming tonight as well to our home church. But it's normal for warriors as they mature to step out of the normal and into danger. So some of them may be saying, should I have taken that job? Should I, um, should I have stepped out and, and confronted? Should I have stepped out and, and moved to another land? Did I make a mistake? Um, warriors definitely explore boundaries when they begin oh, to mature. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. And that's what Red did in the video. For sure. But we're also going to get some cautions for you men and you women who are warriors. Um, the dangers that can take place. Uh, we know what our giftings are, right? But it's wisdom to also know that our weaknesses can also be our giftings. And our giftings can also be our weaknesses. Right. Sounds like an oxymoron, huh? Right. And I, I, just, it, I just think of uh, when the Bible talks about to go in twos, there's wisdom in that. I mean, you're safer, in them, they're, they're safer than going out by yourself. Yeah, and that's it. we're going to talk about that when um, when the other lion came in, his ally came in, and we're going to definitely talk about that. Like, this is precept upon precept, line upon line, you guys. Like, we are teaching you something that you can take to the bank and cash it. This is not, you know, some pie-in-the-sky prophecies and that are going to happen in 10 years from now. This is right now. If we don't figure this out, we're not going to make it for the red tsunami. Yeah. I mean, I and, feel, I feel I, sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to cut no, you off. No. I feel like some of us are being taken out because some of us are isolated and yeah. some of us uh, don't have, they're, you're, you're praying and you've been praying for years, weeks, and you're like, where's my help? I need it now. Yeah. Not, not next week. I need it now. I need help right now. I'm How many of you need help I'm, right now? I'm drowning. Give me some love on the video. I'm dying. There's nobody to help me. Where's my help at? Who needs help right now? Well, that's what we're here to do. We're here to offer you help um, that uh, we think is you're going to be able to apply to your life. Right. So back to the characteristics of the warrior. So they explore boundaries. They go outside. They're, they in their outside of their territory. They go into new lands and they explore territory. Okay, so it's one thing to go before the courts of heaven. It's one thing to study the eagles, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, and all that stuff, all those prophetic types and symbolisms. But if we don't know what that means for our life and how to apply it, we're going to go outside the boundaries and we're going to get shot and killed and taken out by the hyenas that are surrounding us in packs. Okay, number two, they tend to venture out alone and they isolate themselves. How many warriors like to do it on your own you just feel like you know oh there's nobody else like me or you just feel like you can't really count on anybody um nobody was really there for you when you needed help so you're just going to go out alone and like red did he ventured out into the territory he went out alone the danger is when you become isolated so red the lion in the video he he was mature because the mature always see when, until you soldiers don't don't go out soldiers don't explore boundaries but they stay in those boundaries and they feel safe and they protect 
but warriors will always get, and we're going to get into the scripture in Joshua on that, but warriors always go outside the territory um, as they begin to mature. So when you, you knew when you wanted to start fighting, you said you were like a little kid and you told God, I want to, I want to be a superhero. You know, I want to do good for the kingdom, but you didn't venture out, not until you became a little bit more mature. And then you learned about um, MMA fighting and UFC fights and you, then you ventured out and, and you went out. So you start. You went outside of San Bernardino. I almost got myself killed down in Mexico, for sure. Because you isolated yourself. You didn't have the right pack. Your allies weren't around you. Or the right training. Or the right training. And that, that's what this is all about. But I was willing and I was so-called brave enough or if you want to call that brave enough or eager enough to do something which 99% of the world probably would not go and do. Well, because you're a warrior. Without proper training. So. Yeah, but, you're, but your maturity... And your innate ability and gifting to be a warrior was a gift, but then it also ended up getting you in trouble. Just like Red, he ended up in trouble. But there's hope, so hold on. So characteristics of warrior, if none of these fit you, then you know you're not a warrior, and that's okay. Not everybody's warriors, not everybody's frontline forerunners. You're not supposed to be. Um, so you explore your boundaries, you step out uh, of normal, Hear me, into danger. How many of you have stepped out into normal, left everything you've owned, got into a car and drove to land where you didn't know anybody, how you're going to live, how you're going to eat, no work, no pay, and you just took off and, okay, you know you're a warrior, not because somebody prophesied over you, but because you're actually living the warrior life. So you tend to venture out alone and you isolate yourselves. So, but they also remain in position this is what warriors do. You will remain in position until you're worn out, attacked, or taken down. But that's a warrior. We won't stop until our bodies give out, our hearts give out. We can't take it anymore. You, you're, you, you just The attack is too much, but we never quit. Our greatest gift, Brian, is also our greatest demise. Oh, without a doubt. I'm thinking right now, I'm just thinking... Oh my goodness, an experience that I had um, when, uh, after my book was written, somebody, a few years back, somebody read my book and said, Brian, why didn't you tell me you were going all through, the, through all that? Why didn't you tell me you were homeless? Uh, because I didn't want anybody feeling sorry for me. Mm -hmm. That's I a didn't, warrior. I didn't, want, yeah. I didn't want that. But it's also not smart when there are other fellow warriors that can come around you and help, and we're going to get to that. This also speaks to what... If you're not a warrior and you're not a frontline leader, what you're called to do right at this moment for those of us that are taking territory, unknown territory, uh, you know, un, it's not been spied out. We're out spying out the territory and there's danger in that. So this is a great message, you guys. This is like a real how to no. where we're at right now message for everybody. Okay. No. All right. So now here it goes. The commander has given the orders for instruction for this time that we're in right now. And I'm going to share with you what I was given. So we just finished on what the characteristics are of the warrior. You know you're a warrior if you have isolated yourself, you're worn out, you're being taken down, the uh, attacks are too much for you. Don't, uh, don't tell me, God, you've got God. I'm going to get into that too. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll know right now that it's too much and you feel like you're completely at your end, but you know that you were supposed to explore the boundaries uh, that you've taken right now. So please turn to Joshua chapter one. We're going to read verses 12 through 17, and you are just going to love this. And all this goes with our video that we just watched. Okay. All right. So um, we're okay. So we're going to let the word go forth right now. You guys like my little stand? My husband bought this for me. How cute is that? I just thought that was cute. So thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. It's a female preacher stand. Yay. All right. Okay. So here we go. The lighting's really bad right here. So I don't lose my papers there. Hopefully my papers don't fall off. Okay. All right. Here we go. In chapter one of verse 12, this is where we are right now. You ready? Here we are. Remember the command that Moses, the servant of the Lord gave you, not God, not, not the command that God gave you. Okay. Remember the commandment that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you. Joshua is talking to the church. 
Joshua the warrior has now taken the place of Moses, the amazing pastor, because a pastor can lead you to the water, but a warrior will take you down to drink. Okay? All right. So the warrior is now speaking. In other words, it's been a, it's been a, 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 a um, what do you call it? A, a exchanging of the guards? Changing. It's called a changing of the guards. Moses is no longer the pastor. Okay. Joshua is pastoring the church in today's terms, let's say, okay? The baton has been passed. The baton has been passed. And so Joshua is telling the people, remember what Moses said, right? Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you. The Lord your God is giving you rest and has granted you this land. Your wives, your children, your livestock may stay in the land that Moses gave you east of the Jordan, but all your fighting men, fully armed, must cross over ahead of your brothers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop there because we're going to read all the way to 17. But I want to give you, um, you know, like I want to give you the pieces of meat to chew before we like put the whole steak in our mouth. Okay. So, so Pastor Brian, Moses heard the command from God. And now Joshua is taking over and saying, okay, people, this is where we're at right now. I want the men, I want all the women and the children, I want you to stay in the land that God gave you. You're not the forerunners. You're not the warriors. You're not less than. You're not, no, 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 no. I need you to stay here and I need you to watch the church. Now, now watch your homes. Now I'm going to read what God gave me here and I'm going to go back to the word. Those who are not forerunning are to stay behind and prepare the home the business, the children, those who stay behind hold down stability. They are no less important in the battle. Okay, then I'm going to stop right there and go into the word. So you are no less in the battle. But if everybody on Facebook was a seer, a prophet, a pastor, an apostle, a teacher, then, then we would all be forerunning and there would be no one to watch the children homeschool the children, um, make sure there's food, uh, proper nutrition in the home, the bills are being paid, the, the lawns being manicured, everything. You are stability. So Joshua was saying, stay behind. I'm the warrior. I'm red in the video. I'm going to go out and check out outside the boundary lines. Don't worry. I got it. Stay here as Moses commanded you, right? Did you have something to say, baby? No, no, no. I was, okay. just, I was just, I'm always thinking of, uh, of course, a situation that applies to us, you know? Yeah. The, everybody has their certain role, certain yes. part. The body of Christ, my role is right now is to venture out and make as much money as I possibly can to bring in. For the, for the 2019, for what Truth and Love Ministry is supposed to be doing. Full right. time in ministry. Right. Not in car sales. And right. full, but you are doing, you are hunkering down. Those of you go to our YouTube page. We've taught on the shift, mm -hmm. hunkering down, recognizing your tribe. We've taught line upon line before we get into 2019. So you're doing, you went out into territory that was just totally unknown to you because God told you to do it. And you're spying out a land and doing what you need to do. But because 2019 will be the year of positioning, for truth and love ministry to do on the front lines, the word and the workout, right. all the training, what God has created you and I to do, yeah. the 50 years of our life is now getting ready to happen, just like our 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 family watching. There's no no way I could have met this many people in six months of what I'm doing at this very moment at the position yeah. I, I was placed in. So God has strategically dropped me right in the middle of Franklin, yeah. Franklin Tennessee. And those watching, there's no way you would have acquired um, the strength and the fortitude and the um, endurance and the wisdom, all of those things if you had not stayed in the land that God has told you to stay in right now. So right now it's gathering resources because trust me, when I get to the end of this message, we're all going to come together and our resources are going to go together. Our resources aren't going to buy million dollar planes, million dollar cars, million dollar suits. Our resources, yes, we are going to receive blessing 
as God blesses us as Abraham, you, we will receive blessing. But I'm going to tell you the end time tribe will be about putting those finances into kingdom purposes. I, I guarantee you that. Okay, so you're just going to know what tribe you're supposed to be with. It's going to be clear. So uh, we're going to continue in Joshua chapter 1. And Caleb, or excuse me, Joshua is saying, okay, women, children, your dogs, your cats, your birds, your animals, everybody stay behind. And in the land that Moses, that your pastor, that your pastor got you to, because your pastor got you out of Egypt. Your pastor got you out of Pharaoh's um, army. And he placed you in a land. It may not be the land that you're really wanting. It may not be the home that's yours. Like we're renting this. Like this isn't our d designed home. This isn't our vision. But we, but our pastor got us out of Egypt, put us in a land this home for us is strategy or Shiloh land, if you will, a, pl a safe place to write, to release, to gather our tribe so that when we go to the next land, we're now in the land that Joshua spied out and has acquired for us. So he's telling the men, he's telling those that are not the warriors, not read in the video. He's telling them, stay behind. I need you to keep the home stable. Okay, because if everybody was out there prophesying, everybody was on Facebook Live, your, your husbands wouldn't be taken care of, your children wouldn't be taken care of, everything would be a mess, there'd be no stability. So I'm, I'm adding to the word, right? I'm giving you today's vernacular. So stay home, and this is what you're supposed to do, those of you who are called to stay home, not to go, not to go explore boundaries that are dangerous, not to step out um, and venture into new land but not to not to go out into those those territories and forerun things that haven't been done before start a new business god's not asked you to do that he's asked you to stay home but in the stay home and in the stability is that all they're supposed to do no here's what joshua instructs those that are supposed to stay home this is what he says he says i'm going to send all the fighting men they're going to be fully armed and they're going to cross over ahead of the church, ahead of the brothers and sisters. You are to help your brothers. So the Lord is saying, this is all scriptural. Read Joshua. The strategy for 2019 is right here. Joshua 1 is the strategy for 2019. The warriors are going ahead. They're, they're, they're literally cleaning out the White House. They're cleaning out the courthouse. They're cleaning out the church house. Right. They're cleaning out the schoolhouse. They're cleaning everything out. They're going into danger. They're tweeting. They're doing things that are just un, un, the, 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 their methods of madness that don't make sense. They're treading and forerunning into territory. But stay behind. Make sure there's stability. But please help those that are forerunning into new and creative miracles and they're doing they're raising up a church not the way it was done before they're raising up something new the bible says you are to help your brothers and it says how long should they help them until the lord gives them rest as he has done for you until they too have taken possession of the land that your lord is giving them we want to thank all of our team unbreakable partners you know, there, there's some, Brian, and that's okay. You know, on Facebook, oh, put, you have pink eye, put drops in your eye, um, it's your makeup. Everybody's got, it's okay. They, they don't understand they're trying to help. But listen, there we are forerunning something very, especially with this 3D workout, Prophetic Insight into Spiritual Fitness, A Way of a Warrior book. We are on the verge of, of finishing up and publishing. It is going to change the face of church. It's going to, it's, it's going to cause... It's going to cause a lot of people to come in line, let me tell you. So we have not had rest. And there are some people like, why aren't you guys resting? And why aren't you guys out playing and going to Christmas parties and having fun? Because warriors right now are forerunning things while those are staying home, while others are staying home, baking the Christmas cookies, baking the loaves of bread. They're bringing, it's not a put down. They're bringing stability to the house. There's got to be stability while we are out doing what we need to do to get things prepared for 2019. But what did it say, Brian? Help your brothers until what? Until they have rest like who? Like you have rest. Amen. So the frontline warriors are not rested right now. We look all a mess. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. We, our hair, our eyes, our bodies, we're not training, you know, 10, 10 hours a day like we used to. We are going into territory and we are doing what God has told us to do. And he is saying, listen, you guys, whatever ministries you are connected with, help those frontline ministries. Pray for them. Put on your calendar from certain times that you're going to go into prayer. Financially support them. Do whatever you've got to do. Because why? What does the Bible say? I mean, people are helping Trump, First Lady, the staff, the court, White House, the courthouse, the church house. You've got to help those that are, that are in dangerous territory, like Red. He was in dangerous territory, and I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm going to go into some of that. But he says, you're to help your brothers and sisters until the Lord gives them rest. So those of you who follow this particular ministry, you see we're not rested. We are in physical war. We are in financial war. We are in a war because we are spying out like Joshua. We left family, people behind, and we've gone into dangerous territory. Now, when you go into that dangerous territory like we've done in Nashville here, and we are scoping out the land and we are fighting the hyenas, they are surrounding us. And I'm not going to get, I'm going to stay with the scripture here. They are surrounding us and they're surrounding you. Some of you are really getting this right now. All right. And it says until the Lord, until, until your family, your friends, your warriors have taken possession of the land that the Lord is giving them. After that, after that, after what, what is that? After the leaders that you are supporting, praying for, taking care of financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, after they've acquired the land and they have had rest and you know, okay, we can breathe now. It then says, after you've done that, you may go back and occupy your own land. Some of you have not occupied your land because you have not helped warriors occupy theirs. Now, I'm not talking about warriors buying new homes, buying new cars. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about frontline ministries are attempting to take land and occupy territory. We are wanting a building in this region. We have got a huge vision. I used to train Homeland Security. Homeland Security, March Air Force Base. Most people don't know that. I physically trained them. Brian, same thing. UFC fighters that have gone all the way to the top. We are attempting... Huntington Beach SWAT team. Huntington Beach SWAT team. All kinds of... SWAT. Law enforcement, fire department. All of it. Yeah. it all, all, all of our civil and law enforcement um, uh, uh, servers, servicemen. And we are attempting to do something that's never been done... Um, here in the Nashville Franklin area. So we aren't resting. We are tired. We are not coming on Facebook Live with makeup and photoshopped and everything looking great. We are coming to you live and real, okay? And we want you to know that just as we know you are in the midst of, uh, of, of being surrounded by hyenas and you're in danger, there's an answer of how to get your protection. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to that, okay? I'm gonna try to stay right in line. So after you've helped frontline warriors get the bigger picture of what the Lord's attempt, because not everybody's called to go get the land. We are called to acquire land here so that we can bring in ministries and, and civilians from the north, the south, the east, and the west, fly them all in from around the world, from the UK, all over around the world, and bring them to our home base, not our home, the home base building that we are having our prayers and we're going for the courts of heaven to receive here in the natural we have a bigger picture do you not think that we are fighting hell and fighting demons i mean you just saw our facebook live this guy was going to die god sent pastor brian and i to fight off the spirit of death he talked about he was facing death he was walking to the light as we were praying for him if you don't know what we're talking about it was our facebook live earlier this morning earlier a couple hours ago but the whole point is Joshua 1 is a great picture of what we're supposed to do. So after Joshua explains what is to happen, then listen to this, you guys, in verse, um, what was that say? Then in verse 16, because my eyes hurt really bad. Um, the Lord, then they answered Joshua. So here we've got 
watch this, watch the succession here. God spoke to Moses. Moses spoke to Joshua. Joshua didn't speak to God. Why does everybody on this planet think they're a seer and a prophet? And everybody has a word from straight from heaven every second of every day on every post. I don't understand it. Okay. So, so God, the father spoke to Moses, the pastor, Moses then speaks to Joshua and gives, gives the orders to Joshua. Joshua is now telling the people, all the people didn't hear from God. The leaders did. Right. Right, Brian? The warriors heard from the father. And then after Joshua heard the instructions, he spoke to the people. Now look what's going on, Pastor Brian. The people are now speaking back to Joshua. I think he found his tribe. Because look at what his tribe said back. They didn't say, oh, you're not, we want our other pastor. We like the way that other ministry ran. We like them better. They've been there for 10 years. Yeah, we like, you we know. Like the messages over there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. So we're not going to listen to them. But here's what the people said. Then they answered Joshua. Who's they? The people. Whatever you've commanded us, we will do. Wow. <laughs> they didn't say, sorry, we don't listen to man. We, we hate church. We don't listen to leaders. No, he's, the people said, whatever you tell us, Pastor Brian, to do, because we know, Pastor Brian, you're a warrior. We've seen you prove yourself. I respected him. We respect you. We see what you're about. We see your fruit. And you know what? Tell us what to do. Tell us what we need to do. Tell the people what to do now. <laughs> How do they get out of this? What do we do? And they said, they said, tell us what to do, Joshua. Just as we fully obeyed our last pastor, Moses, whatever you tell us to do, we will obey you, Joshua. Only may the Lord your God be with you. Isn't that what our team Unbreakables, our partners that, that prayerfully and financially support us, they say, may God be with you. May God, we're going to help you. We see the attack you guys are under. We see where you're going. We see where this is headed. You know what? May God be be with you and that's the kind of partners we have you guys are phenomenal may God be with you and they said then they said this whoever rebels against you and your word and does not do or obey your words they will be put to death only be strong and courageous wow so I'm going to I'm going to have Pastor Brian Prime, what you want to say and then we're just going to we're going to continue on with the thing but what what a word for the church right now. Yeah, I, this wasn't even about me uh, a few minutes ago, but all of a sudden I felt like I got brought into this because she was speaking to you guys. Yeah. Well, what, you're Caleb. And what you I mean Joshua. And what you're doing for us. So I never it's, it's never about me. I've, I've always said long ago to the Lord, use me. And I made one request many years ago, and I said, I'll do whatever you tell me to do, whenever you tell me to do, and how to do it, I'm willing. I said, just don't take my daughter. Well, guess what happened? My daughter, was, these taken, people, huh? my yep. daughter was taken from me, and, we, and we, I knew we had to go venture out. I knew me and my wife had to go Spy to, out new land. to a new land. And I kept looking back, and I kept, mm. but I'm getting further out. From my daughter, yes. further out. Yes, but I knew that's the only, the only. I knew that God was calling us to do this, to occupy not this just territory. once, but to, from California to Northern California, and that hurt, and it really hurt because I I was leaving the territory that yes. land eight hours away. Then it was from Northern California to Tennessee, and I'm like, now this is a five six hour flight. It's not just a drive anymore. This is a real. This is <laughs> this is. This is far. So anyhow, um, so when she was reading and when she was speaking to you guys, I kept thinking the support that you guys give us. Some of you guys have seen what I just recently went, was it uh, last week? Yeah. To go see my daughter, which I have not seen in two years. Can you imagine? Now, those of you that have children, imagine not seeing your children for two years. But you were obeying God. You've been obeying. Facebook. Yeah. Telephone come. This just isn't enough. It just isn't no. enough. You have to see your children face to face. Um, I knew I was a, a connection. I was losing a connection with her. So I, I thank you for for supporting us and, and those of you guys praying. I I see how much love and support you have for mm -hmm. me and my mm -hmm. wife from 
the post that, that I put out and, and the response that we got. So I, I really, yes, amen. really appreciate it. But guys. I think the people are looking for Joshua's that they can follow. And they want to obey the commands of leaders that are hearing from God. Right. And and they're do and they're spying out dangerous land. Yeah. And so here, let's get to some of the dangers that are taking place in some of your lives right now. Right. Dangers that warriors will face. You will be surrounded by your enemies. When you venture out into new territory, the ones that are staying behind, they're called to help you. They're called to do whatever it takes to help you because the warriors that go into the new land, they will absolutely emphatically be faced with demons and opposition. Now, I, I can appreciate that people say, well, God is with you. He's, that, that's all great, but I'm going to actually show you scripture <laughs> that that's not the whole answer. So stay with me. Everything I teach is scriptural. Okay, of course God is with us. But is that going to save us? No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Well, I'm reading from the whole Bible. I don't do one scripture size takes fits all, okay? The dangers warriors face are they're going to be surrounded by their enemies. Warriors will be worn down until they have no more strength. That's how the enemy gets us. He wears us out, makes you work 13 hours a day, Brian, makes you just so exhausted until you can't see straight. You can't do your Facebook lives with your family that's your, t your online church because you're wiped out. The enemy will isolate you, wipe you out until you're worn out and you have no more strength. You will recognize warriors by battle scars. Did you see them? And if you're just joining, when I keep pointing back to the TV, it's at the beginning of the video. I'm encouraging you after this uh, broadcast to go back to the video in the very beginning. It's like a three minute video. Yeah. And it is a perfect picture of the lion being uh, going out and he ventures out on his own because he's a warrior, he's a lion. I'm, I'm a big time warrior, I can do this. And he is mature and he wants to go check out the territory because that's what lions do. Lions don't stay in caves, hide in caves. Lions go look for, go out, but lions will find danger and danger will find the warriors, okay? So you will have intense battle scars. You may find yourself exhausted. You may find yourself, um, like all the physical attacks, my broken toe, my knee, my eyes, we can't train, so we're, having our, we're losing our muscle. Just things are happening physically to us because right now we're right in the middle of a war. And when we get out of this war, like Joshua chapter one says, and we get the rest, that God promises when we have the rest, the Bible says the team unbreakables will occupy their land as well and get their rest. But it says also um, the enemy will keep you at bay only for a time. So if you saw in the video, Red was surrounded by 20 hyenas. This message is called lions versus hyenas. The odds against you are about to change. When Red ventured out, he had 20 hyenas um, that were all just completely surrounding him, right? And so they will take, try to take you down because a warrior can't take them down at once. You cannot take all these demons down at once by yourself. Is that biblical? Yes, it is. You may think you can pray in tongues, get in the Holy of Holies, and fight every demon on your own. But the Bible is clear. I just read to you. What Joshua instructed the people, I'm sending the warriors out. You guys need to stay back here, keep the stability, and you need to support them. You need to do whatever you can to support them. Why did he say that? Because I can't do it on my own. Mm. I can't do it on my own. I need the help. And so these hyenas were trying to take him down, and but Red cannot take all these hyenas down at once. Even for a warrior, a certain amount, that a, a certain amount of these attacks will be too many. That's why we are losing. Um, that's why we have prophets dying of brain hemorrhages. That's why we have pastors dying of heart attacks. That's why. Why? Because it's too much for one person. There has to be a team of intercessors. Right. They're uh, around the clock at every watch praying from, you know, literally um, from one to three, three to six, six to eight. To eight to, there has to be on all four watches. There has to be pray, intercessors covering these Joshua and Deborah's, these Caleb and Deborah warriors that are out on the front. There has to be stability on the home front. There has to be financial support. So they're not working 13 hours a day, getting worn down, being taken out by the devil. This is what happened. But now I want to explain to you, 
frontline warriors can only keep the enemy at bay for a certain amount of time. And now there's an answer. Now, Joshua 23.10 says this. One, Brian, let's use you as an example. Brian, one of you routes a thousand because the Lord God fights with you. Brian, you can fight off a thousand. Your enemies, demonic spirits, you know why? Because you are a warrior. Okay, right? You can fight them off. Go ahead. You can do it. A thousand. However, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 32, 30, one man can route off a thousand, but two can send the legions fleeing. Some of you warriors have been surrounded just like read in the video. And you see the hyenas are just going at it. A hyena, what you need to understand about how to, a hyena or the devil or demons or your enemies in the natural, they're scavengers. Hyenas are scavengers. They eat the leftovers of what we kill. They take the leftovers of our spoil. We go into land and take it, and you're always going to have demons or demonic people right behind you to come and take the spoils of what you put your life in danger to get for the people. So hyenas are dog-like animals. And the Bible says in Proverbs 26, 11, as a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. But listen, a fool is somebody who lacks understanding. The Lord does not want us to be fools and return to our own vomit. Keep eating the same, keep watching Facebook, keep watching all of the same messages over and over that are, that are just all about politics or that are all about the courts of heaven or all about how to get rich or are all about how to cancel your debt or all. That's not what God wants us to do. It's actually called regurgitation. And when you actually regurgitate, it means you keep throwing up the same word without comprehending. <laughs> you don't comprehend or analyze. So it's like we're getting all this revelation about the eagle, the lion, the whatever, and all of this crazy stuff, which it's, it's great. And it's God's word. But we're regurgitating the same messages over the same themes, I should say. Yeah. Different messages, but the same thing. God wants you to prosper. God has abundance. God's calling you to take the land. Um, God's calling you to cancel the debts. Um, you're, it's your time. That's all great. But we have to have teaching that we don't just keep throwing up. That we actually analyze the food and we comprehend it. So as fools, we don't return to our vomit. Amen. I got a real simple plan. Real simple. We all start helping each other. Always going ahead of the message. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. Because you've been preaching that. Oh, you have been preaching years, this years forever. It's so easy. It's, a, it's, it's so easy. It's an easy plan. It's so easy. God doesn't make anything complicated. No. If, if we all, even a children can understand. If we all help each other, we would all win. Yes, and that's what this message is about. The characteristics of a warrior, right? You are one badass warrior. You 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 go out and kill the you'll go out past the territories where no man will venture. You'll go and explore, but you will get yourself in trouble if you isolate yourself and you do it alone. Red was not able to fight off his enemy until his ally came. Now, here we go. This is the answer, you guys. So the ways of the enemy in the video clip, I talked about hyenas and demons and your haters. They travel in packs. They're never alone. So should we do the same? The, the enemy doesn't travel alone. Demonic spirits do not go out in singulars, okay? So why are we as warriors traveling out alone? We are supposed to travel together. And they continue to circle around you until you're worn out and your injuries overtake you. If you saw red in the video, by the time his ally came, he was all scarred up. We have got to prevent suicides, mental you know, dehabilitation, heart attacks, surgeries, We've got to do whatever we can to keep the body of Christ whole because warriors are going to take hits. You're going to get hit. If you think you're going to look like, you know, Joe Blow model and female model and, and you're just going to look all gorgeous and have it all together in, the, in, in 2019, listen, I'm, I'm sorry, you are not doing war. Warriors always take hits when they go into battle, okay? All right, so I'm keeping things real for you guys. 
Um, the enemy will also cause weakness and break you down. If he can get you so weak, Brian, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, he's going to break you down. But here's the help that's on the way. We're going to bring this in for a landing. So in the video, the other lion came to save Red. <clears throat> I forgot what they named him. But Talk to him. I wonder what that even means. Yeah. Um, so he comes in, right? And it it literally said they heard, Tatu heard the commotion. I am telling you right now, I'm going to give a word of encouragement to everybody watching. You may be the warrior that we just spoke about. <clears throat> you may be scarred, bruised. You're, you've, you, the anxiety, the depression, you've had to get on medication. Um, you're, you're just a darn mess. You went out and ventured out and it just, you took some massive hits. But the, the word was in the video, Tatsu heard the commotion and came to Red's aid. Your tribe hears the commotion. They, I don't know where they are. I, I'm having people contact us on Facebook that we don't even know. They hear the commotion. They are sending dreams, visions of finances. They're praying for us. They're saying, listen, this is what God spoke to me. And I'm thinking, who are you? God spoke to one person that just friended us 10 days ago. Didn't even know what we did. Didn't even know we had a ministry. And God gave this person a full on word that we were for what we were for running here in Nashville, Tennessee. And God, they hear, people hear your commotion. You may feel totally surrounded by 20 hyenas. You may feel scarred and bruised and broken, but I guarantee you there are your allies that actually hear the commotion and they hear it. And though you've isolated yourself, dear warrior, there are those who hear it and they're coming to your rescue. Here's what an ally is. They cooperate with one another for military purposes. That's the general term we hear about those who ally with Israel, those who ally with President Trump, the United States. So allies always come together for military purposes. But I got a word for you on Facebook today. Also an ally is a person that helps you with an activity. The verb is they combine and unite forces. This is what Pastor Brian was trying to say. Your allies are coming and they're gonna unite forces with you. They're going to unite resources with you. They're, the help is on the way, and you may feel scarred and jacked up, but you will receive rest and restoration that's needed before 2019. Before you go into that promotion, you will be granted the rest. At, now, I don't know what month in 2019, but I am telling you this. The Lord told me that 2019, you can mark this as a prophetic word, 2019 will be the territory that you have actually been claiming. I'm not talking in the supernatural. I, I mean, I'm talking the literal, physical, here on earth, territory. Homes, jobs, family. Um, uh, I'm even hearing um, when people are left uh, what, money from, what do you call it? Oh, um, a will or a... Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, you literally are going to access things that were promised to you that you've been claiming in 2019. You're not going to go another year without that land, whatever that land looks like for you. So, but remember, there's a strategy we talked about. There have to be people that help you while you're getting that land. Do not be afraid to ask for the help because there are allies, people, there are people that are watching this video now that will not ally with us. They're like, oh, that's a good message, whatever. That's great for them. They're going through their, their little attacks. You don't know, right? Okay, mm -hmm. but I'm now speaking to our allies. I'm speaking to those that want to cooperate, partner with Truth and Love Ministry for a bigger purpose, for a military purpose. I was told from the White House, the courthouse, the church house, that God was going to use my voice to clean out the, the church, the, the, the swamp waters of the church house. I have many messages on YouTube on this. And there's a strategic way that we're going to have to do that. And we are going into territory that I'm telling you, we are fighting demonic spirits that we have never come into contact with before. And, um, it, 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 and yes, God is with us. But one can rout, send a thousand to flight. But two can send the legions fleeing. And as, 
as the Bible says in Joshua, Joshua instructed, stay behind, stay behind, but I need you to help the ones that I'm sending that are the fighting men, the fully armed. They're all these fully armed fighting men, your brothers and your brothers in arms. They're going into the territory and they're going to take some demons down and acquire territory for you in the natural. And you're going to end up occupying that yourselves. But I'm asking you to help them. So what we are doing, this is only, this. if you're not a ministry partner and you've never seen this before, we are not speaking to you, okay? We are speaking to our ministry partners, our team unbreakables that have written and said, how do I partner with you? What do we do? Listen. We need your partnership. We need those that write in and say, I am committed to pray for you. I believe, you know, I'm going after this vision that you guys have um, to erect this territory in the Franklin, you know, Nashville, Tennessee, in this region to, to we want a launch a building. This is not a church. Don't think church. That's why we're doing home church. That's not what we're doing. We have got so much training and prophetic ability to train of uh, frontline leaders, front churches, to train train leaders and people to go in to take their territory. We train you in the prophetic and we train you in the, in the natural. And we need a building to do that. But right now, the, the I'm literally uh, finishing up my book that I started quite some time ago and the Lord has had me redo this whole entire thing. Oh my God. It's a 90 day devotional, but he spoke to me about four days ago and he said, Gina, I want you to release the book now. I'm like, wait, 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 there's way too way. And he said, and then I realized what he was saying. It's going to be 30, 60, 90. The first book will be a 30 day devotional, um, 3d, 3d workout, prophetic insight into spiritual fitness, the way of a warrior. Mm -hmm. And then book two will immediately follow that. And then book three, and then our book, a beautiful war, a modern day Caleb and Deborah. So we've, we have, we see what we want to do and we want to launch something really big, but it takes, I have editors, you guys, I've got people editing that need to be paid publishing. There is so much. We want to do this with excellence. We really want to launch this out and we need your help. We need your help to partner with us, um, to help us make this happen. And, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I, I spoke from scripture. It said when Joshua goes out to hit the land, Please help your brothers, help them stay behind and help them because they need, and, and don't stop helping them until when, until you see them get rest and the territory. So I pray that that ministers to so many of them out there, Brian, that are going through the same thing. You've got to rally your tribe. You've got to rally people next to you that, you know, believe in you. And if you want to go back to school because God has told you, you need to become a teacher or you need to become a lawyer or you need to ask the people around you financially, help me, help me while you stay here and keep the stability of the land. Help me when I go out into danger, because this is for my mandate. Will you support me? That's what the Bible says we're supposed to do. Pastor Brian, yeah. until you see them get rest. Right. We don't have rest yet because right. we don't have the territory yet. Right. It's, it's, um, Everything my wife is, is speaking is obviously tr <clears throat> truth, and it's very hard for me as a man to to reach out and ask for help. Uh, as you as you can see, I'm about to read something to you. Do you want me to read this? Yeah, you know, amen, amen. This is a story that I I is actually seven years ago to the this day, exactly seven years. Some of you guys prophetic out there are going to understand what this all means. Amen. But exactly seven years ago today, I was in a in a cage fighting for my first championship belt. Well, Seven years ago today. Well, I'm sorry, I fought for championship belts before, but I wasn't ready. Oh, come on. Was not ready to win. But the circumstance I'm about to read to you in this situation prepared me to win this championship belt. And, and you'll understand when I when I read this to you. All right, here it goes. So yes. I, I printed out, so I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna um, skip anything. So my wife print, printed this out for me. But I did post this earlier um, this morning. What did you post? The memory. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll oh, go for it, baby. Seven years ago today, I won my first MMA championship belt in the cage. I was also going through one of the biggest trials of my life. I was losing everything, both my fight gyms, a wife, and my daughter to a custody battle. To be completely honest, I wanted to give up, throw in the towel, so, so to speak. But I chose to keep fighting. 
I found a way, a way to deal with my anger mm -hmm. uh, in this situation. I call it focused anger. Amen. There's a difference between reckless and careless anger that is untrained. That type of person will only hurt themselves, not only hurt themselves, but those around them. Hmm. Dang, there it is. Oop, there it is. Excuse me. This How is many ministers are hurting people <laughs> around them because they're not trained? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but but those that that, uh, that don't have a conscience will be self-destructive. You'll, you'll basically destroy yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but when you have a trained and skilled fighter that is disciplined, that's, that's a huge difference. Teach a person, a person fo focus anger, that will be one of the greatest weapons used on this earth. Amen. With that type of skill, you can harness... You can harness winning, and it can be transitional to athletics, business, you name it. Um, mm -hmm. My biggest lesson, what I've learned from this battle a few years back, was this particular fight was more than just winning a belt. No matter how big or small the situation or struggle you find yourself going through in this life, it's about having the right mindset. So some of you guys are going through a battle right now, but I'm going to teach you something right here. This is the reason why I'm reading this. This is for you guys. You have to be strong mentally so strong mentally that you're going to finish the job or task no matter what happens, okay? You're in a fight. You just got to have a mindset of winning, right? Having a strong mindset will separate you from winning or losing in everything that you guys do. Mm -hmm. Now get out there, find a good team of people that Come you can on. partner up with that have the same goals as you do and win not just for your family but for yourselves. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with hard work and wanting to win for yourself or others. I hope this helps motivate a few of you out there. Yes, amen. The moral to this, to this story is we all have lost something, some important people and things in our life mm. temporarily. Temporarily. But we're going, but what we're going to do now and how we're conducting ourselves to win and get everyone else on the to that next level of greatness. Then I put a couple of scriptures, Psalm 144, 1. The Lord trains my hands for battle and my fingers for amen. war. Fingers for war. And then Joshua. 114 we just read a little while ago your wives your children your livestock may stay in the land that moses gave you east of the jordan but all of your fighting men fully armed mm. must cross over ahead of your brothers you are to help your brothers amen then i just put you know god bless and much love yeah. to all you guys that respect and support us we appreciate you but that's why so many warriors are being taken out because the the, the warriors have been armed and told go and yet, they need help. They, they, one, they can route a thousand. One can route a thousand. But two, routes 10,000. They put a thousand to flight. Legions go fleeing. So we have, yeah, and Mess. that's our concern is so many are hurting right now because they're isolated. They feel like red in the video. Please, if you just joined, go back to the beginning of this video. They feel so isolated and scarred. And they're so, they won't, but notice Red, he, he didn't try to make a run for it. Warriors never run from danger. They'll stay right in the middle until they're killed. I mean, that's, but how many of our, I want to cry, how many of our, our leaders, our pastors, our leaders, um, they're staying in the battle. You know, the tides aren't coming into their church. And we knew another pastor that he had to send his wife to work at Holly, Hobby Lobby. And she was like in her 60s. Yeah. And she had to go work at Hobby Lobby while he and she had a bad knee and ankle and and you know they got taken out they ended up losing the church yeah. they lost the church they lost everything they they because the husband and wife were separated yeah. and um they were separated they couldn't fight together and they lost everything and that's just a crying shame like it please you guys the church yeah. that you belong to support yeah. support that church Support yeah. that pastor. I'm just going to be real and vulnerable at this moment. We're being separated. Oh, and, we are. And, and I know my calling is to be next to my wife. I know it's not to be a car salesman. I, that's great for now and making contacts and, and, and building and establishing relationships in this area. I get it. But it's only for a season. I'm to be called next to my wife. We're supposed to minister together and help as many people as we possibly can. But I know I know, church and, and, and tithe and people are cynical because of who have, who's gone before us, those yes. that have impure hearts That's that right. have taken from the church, that have taken from the flock and the people and the sheep, and they're wounded, and I get it, and I I'm apologizing 
for them right now at this Amen. moment. But when you find somebody that's real and you find somebody that really loves the Lord and somebody that's really doing God's work, those are the people that you sow into. Those are the people that you connect with. Those are the people that you trust. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to come together. So that being said, yes. if we are those people yes. that, that you are supposed to partner up with, then do what you got to do. And if not, we understand and respect that if you have a place that's feeding you as well. Amen. Then do that. Yes. But. So hopefully this was super helpful to you. Go back and watch the beginning of the video so you can see the, um, you know, National Geographic video. It was, it's just God really spoke to us Amen. in this. Amen. So there's it's a awesome. strategy. There's many, many are going into the land right now, and but they're getting taken out yeah. because they're going to spy out the land for the people. I mean, what we're doing here isn't for us. The, the bigger picture of what God's asked us to sacrifice and we have so willingly done as so many of our listeners are doing as well. Right. We, um, <sighs> the hyenas are surrounding. I mean, we have been under just some massive attacks. I mean, I literally am trying to see to, see, to write. And we'll keep um, fighting. And yeah, we'll, and we'll keep going. There's a lot of stuff. We won't, but see, warriors will die right. in the middle of all the attack. They won't give up. But we don't want people to die prematurely. We want our warriors, those that are frontline ministry, um, please support them and help them just like Joshua spoke in Joshua 1. Amen. Joshua 1 literally is the handbook, um, the war book, the war guide, the blueprint uh, for warriors and soldiers right now. Okay, it really is. Um, read Joshua 1 and ask the Lord to show you how you can help your pastor how you can help, and some of you aren't even in churches anymore, you're just over the organized religion part of it. Ask the Lord, and that's what we've done. We, every month, I ask the Lord, who do you want us to tithe to? Who do you want us to give to? And, um, you know, so, you, you know, it may be someone different, it may be the same person, but the Bible is clear. As your brothers and sisters go into the new land, help them until you see them acquire that land and you see them get rest. Once you see that, you're going to occupy your own territory as well. So we don't give without sowing into others' visions and others' purposes. So that's I pray that was just such a blessing. We've got to get ready for our yes. church right now. So we've we wanna, got to sign out and go ahead and pray over. We want to thank you and, uh, and just pray a blessing over you guys right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I just thank you for all those watching this broadcast tonight. And I just want to extend my hand and reach out to them and just... Yeah. just Thank, Thank you Jesus. from the bottom of our heart. And uh, we just want to pray a blessing over each and every one of every you guys. Warrior, so we yes. thank you and we pray a blessing over your uh, this Christmas uh, holiday coming up and the new year, guys. And uh, we Jesus. want to do as much as we can for you. So thank you, Jesus. Thank in you, the mighty Jesus. name, protect them and keep them safe. And we uh, pray for a financial blessing over you guys. Yes. As well. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right. Amen. God bless you guys.